Hey there, Stuart Levitt, Realty Experts team out of Calabasas. So it's been a while since we've done a video, um, maybe about a month, of some of the new inventory. Got a real hodgepodge today, going to be looking at uh, West Hills, Woodland Hills, a uh, few in Calabasas. Um, we have a home, I think there might be one into the several million dollar range, which should be kind of nice to see. And uh, we're going to have some in the 600 range. Um, so all across the board, let's get started. Okay, so um, I wasn't able to make all those houses. They were kind of far apart, and I wound up speaking with some of the um, agents. But just want to give you a quick idea. The first house I saw was uh, the least expensive of them all. It was $599,000. Surprisingly, of all the homes I saw, it was um, maybe the second most turnkey ready to go. Now, it could use work if you wanted to, but they've put in new floors. They've uh, taken off the popcorn from the top. Um, it's on a corner lot. There's no, um, there's no lawn per se. They they took lava, small little lava um, rocks and put it around there. RV access. There's a nice pool. The rooms definitely have some datedness to them, um, but new floors. Kitchen was nice and clean. Um, there's a nice big outside area. RV access. I, I may have mentioned. On to the next home. Um, okay. So the second home I went to was. $200,000 more at $795,000 in Woodland Hills, a little bit off of Valley Circle, a uh, much larger home, uh, 23, well, I think it was a much, yeah, much larger home, almost 2,400 square feet, still three bedrooms and two baths, but they have really done a lot in this home. It's been well kept. Uh, it's got a kind of a modern um, retro look, if that's possible. You go through the doors, you have a nice double door view of the pool, big backyard, um, it's probably fairly priced, and uh, we're going to move on to the next home. Interesting home. They converted the garage. It's this very large space. Um, you can enter um, from the outside, from the inside. Uh, it's carpeted. The kitchen was um, was was beautiful. It was done well. There's a nice pool that overlooks um, into the back of Wooden Hills and into Hidden Hills. Uh, moving on. Then I came to a house in Walnut Acres. I love Walnut Acres. It's such a, all the homes are unique. They're very difficult to price. Um, people can have a, a challenging time in there. Uh, this house was built, I believe, in the um, early 50s and has gone through a few renovations. And it kind of shows it has different personalities throughout. Uh, it has a courtyard in the center, which you can approach from many angles. It's a beautiful kitchen. Again, a little dated, but uh, looks real good. It has some original of the peg and wood floors that I grew up with that I like. Um, upstairs, I, uh, it's a huge um, office, double office, artwork area. Um, and uh, outside is very large. It um, goes way back and deep as a lot of these properties do. Where did I go next? Then I came to a house back uh, south of the boulevard, south of the 101. Um, it is uh, smaller. Um, age, a little funky. There is its own room with a jacuzzi inside. They try to sauna it off a little bit. A lot of room though. Um, and then finally I drove into, running out of time for the day, I drove back to the Oaks, uh, back in Calabasas. Had a nice, uh, it is very peaceful driving back there. You, you, you go to a whole nother location. Um, this was, uh, the uh, first thing I did was I just walked straight to the back because I like to get a sense of what kind of view or backyard you're dealing with when, when you're dealing with that type of quality of neighborhood. This does not have a view, but they made good use of their backyard. It's a corner lot. Uh, they have an infinity spa, and on either side of the spa, they have fire that comes out, um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the house itself has a large, large master bedroom, as you might expect. Downstairs, look out into that backyard. Um, a, bu a big uh, walk-in closet, of course. The other three bedrooms are upstairs. Um, but the real, the real uh, fun of the house is, is coming in and enjoying the large family rooms, uh, the courtyard, um, the spaciousness of the hallways. Um, it, it's, a, it's a nice house for, for the Oaks. Um, and I uh, really got a nice chance to see a bunch of different homes. And there's a lot of, lot of value out there, and there's a lot of homes that aren't so valuable. And doing these um, these open houses, going and seeing inventory all the time really puts you in touch with what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. And if you're interested in any of these homes or any of these areas, or you're thinking about 
um, a move yourself, uh, give me a call and we can talk proactively about how to approach this. Until next time, it was great seeing you all. Take care. Bye-bye.